Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. If you want three free stocks, Weeble is going to give you three free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that brokerage account. They're going to give you three free stocks valued up to $3,300. So after this video, I want you guys to go to the description box of the video, click on that Weeble link, open up your new brokerage account, put at least one penny in it, and go get that free stock and go get that free money. Well, guys, I get a lot of questions on the YouTube videos down in the comments, and I also get them on Instagram through DMs, people asking, when should you sell? So I want to walk you through my strategy when it comes to investing in the stock market and when do I sell those investments? When do I realize, hopefully, profits, right? Now, before I jump into that, I want to give you guys a quick little uh, story. Um, I watch a YouTuber. His name is uh, Me Kevin. Uh, young guy, smart guy and a heck of a investor into the stock market, right? So I started watching this guy around the pandemic, which was March, 2020. And this guy was doing some incredible stuff as it relates to number one, reporting on the pandemic and stimulus packages and all of this. But then that morphed into him starting to do a lot of investing because at that time the market was crashing right because of the the pandemic so i started following him and watching him and over the last year and a half two years this guy has amassed quite a bit of a fortune through investing in the stock market i watched one of his videos a few days ago where he was saying he was selling 20 million dollars worth of his stock market investments now you got to understand guys this guy came from zero and I mean, made investments, built a portfolio up to around $30 million, he's decided to sell. And I think one of the reasons he decided to sell was he had a $30 million portfolio and it had shrunk to 20 million. So $10 million decrease in value. And I think that woke him up. I think that made him think, Listen, it's time for me to get out. Now, one of the reasons he got out, in my opinion, again, I don't know me, Kevin. I don't know this for fact. I'm just giving you guys my opinion, right? My opinion is most of those investments that he made were in probably companies that were fast growing companies. One of those companies was Tesla. He had a really big position in Tesla and he decided you know, at this particular point, now I'm going to go ahead and get out of that position. And the reason he got out of that position was because Tesla, again, is a fast growing company, but it is volatile, right? And he had a lot of his eggs in that Tesla basket. I think a lot of that $30 million portfolio that shrunk down to $20 million, a big portion of that was Tesla stock that he bought way back in 2020 and maybe even 2019. And then of course, Tesla had that run up and it split and that just increased his fortune. But I think most of that was concentrated there. So he decided to get out of that. So guys, here's the deal. Me, Kevin did what he had to do. He still has $20 million to invest. He still is ahead of the game when it comes to um, him buying and selling stocks over the last two to three years. So, so, so what should we be doing? Number one, I think to protect yourself from the thing that me, Kevin fell into is don't be isolating your money by buying individual stocks. Um, I, I think that's the fastest way to um, build a fortune, but also it's the fastest way to lose a fortune. What I recommend you do is not do individual stocks, but do ETFs or index funds, which represent investments that have a variety of companies in them, right? Let's take the S&P 500, for example. 
The S&P 500 has the top 500 companies in America in it, right? Across every industry, across every sector. So guess what? If the tech industry is having a down quarter, guess what? Maybe energy or healthcare or consumer discretionary or real estate is having a better quarter. That's one of the reasons why ETFs and index funds are so popular because they don't isolate your money in one or two or three companies. You are buying a basket of companies or a group of companies. And like I mentioned, the S&P 500, you're actually buying into the top 500 companies in America. So how do I protect myself through downturns like we're experiencing right now? Because 80% of my money that I invest is in ETFs and index funds. So I don't have to worry about uh, me having a large concentration in a company like Tesla or a large concentration in a company like Netflix or a large concentration in some of these other fast growing companies. I don't have to worry about that because I'm well diversified in my ETF and index fund portfolio. Another real good one is the total stock market. Right. The total stock market, depending upon which fund you buy, which ETF you buy, let's take Vanguard's Vanguard has a total stock market ETF and a total stock market index fund. Basically the same thing, though. Right. But they're made up of about thirty five hundred companies. So I don't have to worry about three or four companies having a bad quarter or a bad month or a bad year because I'm well diversified if i buy into that portfolio i'm well diversified into 3500 companies so that's the way you protect yourself in my opinion from all of this volatility that we're feeling right now in the stock market one thing i will tell you at least in my 20 years of investing in the stock market building my wealth i've been a part of several downturns the most recent one was the March 2020 pandemic crash the stock market, right? It crashed the stock market, in my opinion, in March and April of 2020. So I was a part of that one. Guess what I did, though? I wasn't really concerned because I was diversified in the index funds and ETFs. I wasn't concentrated in, you know, two or three companies. So it didn't bother me. What I did do was I took advantage of that and I bought the dip and I just bought more. Now, I was also a part of the 2008 crash, and that was caused by, obviously headed up by the real estate uh, bubble and that burst, which caused a, a, a financial crisis in our country in 2008. Now, for me in that one as well, didn't concern me. Why? Because I was well diversified in ETFs and index funds. And at that time, I still had a few mutual funds. So I was well diversified. I wasn't, I wasn't in any individual stock. What did I do? I continued to dollar cost average in every single two weeks. I would be putting money in buying shares of those index funds and of those uh, ETFs that I was invested in. And, and guess what happened though? As I was buying those shares, as the market corrected itself and got better, guess what happened to those shares? They skyrocketed in value. And guess what I did? I increased my net worth because of that. So the most important thing you can do, in my opinion, real quick, and then I'm going to end the video. Number one, you got to be dollar cost averaging in every single month. You got to be taking amount of money every single month, every two weeks, however you do it, and be buying now. Just stay buying. Stop trying to time the market and just get into the market. That's number one. Number two, you should be in index funds and ETFs. And in my opinion, depending upon where you're at, right, you should be in a total stock market ETF or index fund or an S&P 500 ETF or index fund. You can even do something like the, uh, the small cap 600 ETF. You got a Russell 2000 for mid cap companies, ETFs and index funds. You should be in, in something that's well diversified with a bunch of companies in it in the investment as opposed to you isolating on one or two companies. So here's the deal. If you're too concentrated right now and it's not something that you're comfortable with, it's, it's keeping you up at night, my recommendation is sell it, reinvest that money in a more diversified 
portfolio of ETFs and index funds. That's all you got to do. But do not stop investing. Continue to invest now because the shares that you're going to be buying now are at a lower value. As those things start rising again, that's how you're going to increase your net worth and increase your portfolio's overall value. If you haven't gotten those three free stocks from Weeble, though, click on that link down in the description box. Get those three free stocks. Go get that free stock, man. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.